I am here with a very talented duo. They are nothing but strings. To say that they are phenomenal really does not cut it for me. These are two dynamic young men who play the violin. Not only do they play the violin, but they have found a way to incorporate hip hop and violin. I think it's awesome. And to my right, is Damien. How you doing, Damien? I'm good. The, the compliments were just unbelievable. Thank you. Oh, you are. They are richly deserved. And then I have Tori. How you doing? How you doing? Now, the name of the group is Nothing But Strings? Nothing. Like, nothing. Nothing. Not, nothing. 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 Okay. I got Let's talk a little bit about how you all decided to play violin. Your mom raised you. Single mom. Yay, mom. And, um, but she kind of sheltered you all from the hip hop. You yeah. really, that wasn't really part of your culture. So, Diana Ross, R&B. Oh, you know, you know, growing up, our only culture, honestly, was classical. That's all we knew. I started playing classical music when I was eight years old. And um, my mom, she listened to Light FM, that 98.7, that had that Lenny Williams, that Sam Cooke, or that Celine Dion. But I only really cared about classical until I was about 13 years old when I heard the first hip hop record that turned my mind out. I heard DMX. Like, who's this man barking on music? I'm like, mommy, who is this animal barking on a record? <laughs> okay, well, did you feel the same way? Was classical part of I love your appropriate? I love classical music, but you know what I mean? I was on my MC hammer. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I love MC. Got, to the point where my mom dressed us in the MC hammer pants. We had the genie pants on. Oh, the big old balloon. The thing. big balloon pants. Oh, MC, yeah. I understand that you first, you got your start, you were playing in subways, your aunt and your mom would take you down to the subways. I, I could bring it up. Like, how we... <laughs> <laughs> you only stayed for five minutes for the first... Let me talk about it. No. I'm going to take it all the way back. Okay. I'm going to take it all the way back. And, and then we'll come back to you. Okay. I'm going to take it all back because my mom's always had us in these programs, right? Mm -hmm. Always just to, like, just to develop, develop, develop our skill. Like, we was in a rich program. To develop our like our what was it called? It was called Reach into um, Cultural Heights. It was just like empowerment for the youth. Yeah. Okay. So mom's had us in that pro program, and Damon was playing the violin. So I was like, Yo, Damien, being a manager, you know, what I, mean? I had the manager since. Like, how about we? How about you set up something outside your college? And then we had a dude that played the piano. Remember the dude? He set up his piano. Damon played the violin, and that was the first time ever that we actually made any type of cash. I wasn't playing the violin at that time. Oh, so you a Johnny come lately? <laughs> Okay, we're going to go back on over here to Damien, who has stayed with the Valley and throughout. So how'd you get, how'd you bring him back into the fold? Um, you know what it was, is, he'll let you know, Tori kept on getting jealous. I was getting all the attention from my mom. That's what it was. I just think, yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's keep it real. Yeah, I'm going to keep it real. I was, no, I mean, he was getting a lot of attention from my mother because my mom was so impressed that he was, he was like, honestly, I, I'm not going to hate on him. You know what I mean? He was really... He was killing the violin at nine. He was playing Beethoven, I Klein Notch music. He was he was really doing it. I was like, oh my God, this dude is like really exceptional. You know what I mean? Thank you. Kudos. Okay, where we going from here? Okay, now you fill in the blank. I told him how to play, and um, he gave me one lesson. And he taught himself. And I told him he taught himself how to play. And the thing about it is, when we started playing on the subways in the streets of New York, I was ten years old. Um, my mom at this point, my aunt worked at the World Trade Center, and um. On the way home, she saw these kids playing the subway. So she said, you know, why don't you guys do that? You could practice, make extra cash. So me and my cousin, we didn't want to go out at all because we the only ones that knew how to play. So my brother said, come on, let's go out. We get to the subway. Where me, and my, me and my cousin end up playing for about an hour and a half, and he leaves after one song because all he knew was one song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Little star. I knew all the variations, though, the twinkle, twinkle, little star. I could play twinkle, twinkle, little star 20 different ways. <laughs> Did you put some flavor too? Of course. All right. You have a wonderful personality. We'll be right back. They're going to perform for us later in the show, so stay tuned.